In this segment, we're going to discuss how to remove the FID jet in a GC-17A with an FID detector. Make sure you're backed out of the software course. Make sure the system is cooled down, and then the gases are off, and the GC is off it itself. Okay. The auto sampler tower obviously is removed. It would be over here. Remove the cover. This is your injector, excuse me, your detector over here. You'll have one small screw located on the side here. Loosen up that screw while holding the unit. That'll allow that to come off. Be careful, this is ceramic and it could break. That's the igniter. I usually just place that out of the way. Once that's removed, you can take off this portion, which is called the collector, and that exposes the jet. The jet is where the flame ignites from the hydrogen and the air. Make sure before we start this procedure that your column is removed from the inside of the column oven for the detector side. Just loosen up that nut, pull the column out before we replace anything here. Next, we're going to have to remove the high voltage electrode here. This simply pulls out. Once again, make sure it's cool. Lift this straight up. Set that to the side. That allows the jet to be exposed. That is the sample jet or the detector jet. Take your tool, place it directly on top, gently start to turn that to remove it. It unscrews counterclockwise. Once you're done, Take your tweezers, lift that out of there. Let me lay this down so you can see that. There's your jet. Something to note, if you replace a new jet on here, note the old one. The distance between the bottom of the quartz tube and the top here. You'll want to slide this ferrule, it's a graphite ferrule, You'll want to slide that up or down to give you the same dimensions from the bottom of the ferrule to the bottom of the jet and also at the top. If you have a question about that, read the manual. It'll tell you the exact measurements that things should be at, okay? Next, we'll take the new ferrule, or it's going to be new jet, with the ferrule adjusted on it. Drop that in there gently. Take the tool, make sure to keep that up and down, do not bend that right or left or you will snap it. Snug that down, now it's seated. Next take the high voltage electrode, gently place that on there, make sure it's seated, take the collector assembly, Place that on top, that will seat as well. Now we're going to take our ignition coil, the small screwdriver, I'm putting slight pressure down just to keep everything in place. I'm tightening this down, it doesn't have to be very tight, just enough so that it keeps it in a secure position. Replace your line, excuse me, your column into the detector side port, snug up the nut, half turn underneath, reassemble the lid, reinstall the AOC auto sampler, bring your system back online, turn your gases up, make sure you have flow, turn your gases on, let your system equilibrate for an hour or so. Run six samples to make sure that it goes through the temperature changes, the needle or the injector lights, the detector will light for you, and then you're ready to run.